Over 340 million people have a mobile phone, but don't have access to clean water in Africa. Billions of pounds have been spent on in installing water supply in Africa um, by donors and governments. And most of the systems break down within six months to two years and they stop working. And that cycle has been going on for 30 years and we're still doing the same thing. Systems break all over the place. Problems with leaks in the pipe work, uh, pumps failing to pump, water tanks leaking, uh, the taps on the tap stands breaking and water literally just pours all over the floor which produces stagnant stationary water which actually then is a breeding ground for mosquitoes and other waterborne diseases. Hand pumps that were designed in the 1970s, the spout's too big and water spills everywhere and there's only a breeding ground for malaria and kid, people don't like using the hand pumps. With the solar systems, the current systems are just not well managed because people are not paying for water at the point of use. So fundamentally the biggest problem is they break and there's no money to pay for somebody to fix them. A great example here in the Gambia is 10 years ago in the village of Kerline, an international NGO came and installed a state-of-the-art solar pumping borehole system. Six months later that system broke which could have easily have been fixed for a couple of hundred pounds and the villagers ended up going back to in drinking dirty well water when it could have actually been fixed and they didn't have the funds or collect the funds to be able to maintain it. This system was broken for nine and a half years. So all over the developing world this is a massive problem. There's two billion people who haven't got access to clean water within 100 metres of their home. There's no reliable way to collect money, there's no effective way to carry out for the maintenance and repairs and there's no sustainable water for two billion people. E-Water Pay will just completely solve the problem of how to collect small amounts of money transparently from users at the point of use. It's a low-cost system and it can operate even in the most rural bits of Africa. E-Water uses NFC technology to be able to collect 100% of funds using micropayments to be able to maintain the water resource. Shopkeepers are able to buy e-water credit using the e-water app in bulk. Villagers come along with their NFC tag and buy small amounts of credit from the shopkeeper. They then take their tags to the tap. And then they dispense the water that they need. So with these funds collected, we're able to maintain the water resource. The e-water taps are connected by the Internet of Things to the cloud, and through our servers and our dashboard, we're able to send out alerts to our engineers to be able to go out and fix any problems within a day. So e-water pay really does solve the operation and maintenance crisis as affecting the whole water supply industry. And for that reason, I think it is absolutely huge. It's incredibly exciting. I, it really has the potential for solving that problem, which means that every pound that is now invested in, in water is actually just going to be sustained. <laughs>